stretch it out. Little flex. Wow. What's up, everybody? We're here to make protein pancakes. I had a lot of emails about when I posted my picture on it and get yeah, messages and people are they're, they tried it out and they're coming out flat. They're not as puffy as mine look. Uh, I thought I was pretty straightforward in it, but I guess I wasn't. So this is how I make them, and we will do a few adjustments at the end so we can add some different macronutrients in to hit your macros if you're going for a higher carb day, higher fat day, whatever. Okay? So come on over. What we do is you're going to crack... I do two whole legs and one egg blend. It's just what I do for right now. Okay, so there's the eggs. Save that burner, actually. Okay, I don't know, I put it over a little over medium heat, but it doesn't really matter. Just make sure you don't burn them. Okay, so then you're just gonna whisk these together. Just your eggs. Like okay, you're about to do scrambled eggs. My cousin texted me the other day and she was like, do I scramble the eggs and like cook them first before I put the oats in? I don't know. But you do scramble them. You just don't, you know, do anything else. Okay, so now the oats. Um, okay, this is a third cup. I do one cup of oats. All right, I do the old fashioned oats or steel cut oats. They're better than just like those quick minute oats. Like the quick minute ones are just too like small and fine for me. I like them. The oats a little bit bigger, um, so you can get steel cut of the old fashioned ones, guys. So that's one third. If I were to have a one cup, I would just put a little bit in and then do this and mix them together first and get these oats like soaked in the egg mixture and stuff. Okay, so then I'll do my next third. As you start to do this, you can see how it just gets like a little, it starts getting thicker. bit in there. Literally there's like five ingredients to this. Not a lot at all. Now the oats are done, I do baking powder, baking soda. I mean, it really doesn't matter to me, but this is just what we have. Um, I don't usually measure this out like precisely, but if I was, I'd probably do like a fourth of a teaspoon, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. This is how much I'm doing. Like it's not that, you know, it's just a little, just put a little bit in there. I never measure cinnamon. I put cinnamon on everything. It doesn't, cinnamon is good. I just sprinkle it in there until I feel like it's, it's to my desired, like, whatever I want. I thought I brought vanilla extract. Okay, so a little bit of vanilla extract too. We'll edit that out. Okay. And then you pretty much got your mixture, like right here. This, now you just, just mix, them, mix the whole thing together, make sure it all gets, you know, into the baking powder, the cinnamon. Oh, I forgot, um, I also do a packet of stevia. Okay, just one packet. All right, now we're good. Alright, 
teaspoon in, my, in the morning just to fit my fat macros and whatever, but you can cook in a tablespoon, doesn't matter. Always cook with coconut oil, macadamia oil, not olive oil, because any oil like that doesn't have a high smoke point. The heat's gonna get denatured, chemically restructured. Basically, you're eating it for the good fats and they get restructured and you're not eating good fats anymore, so. Let me see, is there a knife in here? That's okay. So, since I know that mixture comes out to like two pancakes, I'll put about a half of this teaspoon in here. All right. Then I just try and get this around the whole pan, you know, wherever it's gonna get to. mixture in. Okay, pat it down a little bit to spread it out. And I usually time it for like two minutes. I mean, if you put baking soda, baking powder, whatever, let's say once it gets a little puffy and the air bubbles start coming to the surface, that's when you flip it. Yeah, so I'll flip it in like two minutes, and then you'll see what it looks like. All right, be back in two minutes. Get close to it. Okay, so you see how it's like puffing up, and there's the air bubbles are all over and stuff. Okay. So flip, and then that's how it looks on the other side. I pat it down a little bit, <clears throat> and then whatever after like a minute. There's like extra coconut oil here. I'll just like I'll slide the uh, pancake around so it'll get, you know, on the coconut oil. Okay, so probably another like minute on that side and then we're ready to do the next one. And then I'll put the other half teaspoon in there, cook the next pancake, that'll be the final mixture and then I'll show you what we do afterwards, okay? Alright, <clears throat> almost done with the second one. About 30 seconds. So basically this is just, you know, oats and a mix of egg whites and whole eggs. It's like two ingredients and I mean if you want to count the cinnamon, the stevia, vanilla extract, all that stuff, you can count that too, but really it's like nothing. Uh, I'll go over some stuff that you can do in the mixture if you have, you know, different macros and, and, and whatnot. Um, this is pretty much done. Okay. So, there's your two pancakes. <clears throat> okay, what I do, I usually do it with almond butter, but we don't have almond butter, we have peanut butter right now, so. I usually do two tablespoons of almond butter and I, you know, I'll put one tablespoon on each pancake. Okay. So then that'll go on there. I'll let that like warm up a little bit so when we spread it, it's easier. Final sugar-free syrup, you can measure it if you want. When you're being really strict, your macros, you're getting ready for something, whatever. 
fourth of a cup is usually good. But for now, you know, we're not really getting ready for anything. We're just kind of maintaining. And, uh, so I just put on to whatever I desire, you know, it doesn't really matter. Okay, and that is finished product. Okay, so another reason why I really like them is because, I mean, honestly, I eat these while I'm, while I'm dieting and even while it's getting, like, I've been for like two years, I've been making these. People just start asking questions about them. But, I mean, honestly, I eat them while I'm getting ready for competition, uh, you know, if I have a photo shoot or whatever, because I definitely want to make my food taste good while I'm trying to lose body fat. And that, you know, once you're once you're done with the competition or you know, photo shoot, whatever you're doing, you don't feel like you need to, you know, eat everything in sight because you've been eating this throughout your entire prep, and you're you know, you're eating what you want to eat, which is why, you know, this is flexible dieting. And like I know what my macros are every day. I know what I can fit in there. I know what I can make. Um, and I enjoy all the meals, which is important because if you don't enjoy the meals, all you think about is the other food that you're not able to eat. So as soon as you develop that relationship, you're doomed to fail. So if you don't know how to count macros or flexible diet and all that stuff, that's why I'm coming out with my newest you know, ebook. Hopefully in a few weeks it'll be ready. I'm a perfectionist, you know, if anybody knows me. So I want to make sure everything is perfect in there. It's very straightforward, it's easy to read. Um, you know, I teach you about flexible diet and the concepts of it. Uh, how to use it, how to implement it into into your nutrition. Uh, teach you how to make to create your own nutrition program. You know, using the food you love. I go in depth on the macros, and I teach you how to calculate your own. You know, the calories you need every day, how much you need to eat every day to achieve your goals. Whether your goals are fat loss, or you know, muscle gain, or weight maintenance, or whatever they may be. Um, you know, and I'm really excited about it. I'm sure it'll help a lot of people. So um, I know a lot of people are messaging me about it, asking when it's going to come out. You know, there'll be a pre-registration page for it um, coming out very soon. So you just type in your email and you know you get it for about uh, $10 off. And then after about two or three weeks, it goes back to regular price. So once I post the pre-registration page, definitely get your email on there and you'll get notified for when it's it's actually launched and it's available. So I'm pretty excited about that. So be on the lookout for that. So there's a few different things you can do in the mixture. If you want, if you're doing like a higher protein thing and you like, you know, whey protein, you want to make it taste like a chocolate pancake or vanilla, you know, put a scoop of protein in the mixture, you know, whisk it together. Um, if you're going for like a higher fat um, deal and you're doing low carb and it's like your only carb meal, you could put like, you know, coconut flakes on top, which I've done before, sliced almonds on top of the peanut butter and, you know, you can go higher fat that way. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do. Or you could add in, a, if I want like a peanut butter chocolatey flavor, I'll do a scoop of the chocolate protein and then I have um, either a tablespoon of the peanut butter into the mixture or I'll do a tablespoon of like that uh, PB2, like the powdered peanut butter. Makes it taste like, just like peanut butter. It's crazy. But um, so those are a few different things you could do. Um, and try it out. Let us know what you think. I hope this video helped you figure out how we do it. And uh, We'll be back next time. Let us know what you guys uh, what you guys do and how you guys enjoy it. Until next time, we're out. Peace.